not every day that a zookeeper went to prison for murder for hire. There are more captive tigers in the U.S. than there are in the wild throughout the world. Animal people are nuts, man. They're all crazy. Tiger King on Netflix, huh? You want to talk about crazy? There was a saying, a man that has pussy is going to get a lot of pussy. What man said that? Some guy on this Tiger King Netflix show said that. And this is just another story of how absolute power becomes corrupt and it corrupts absolutely because people was chasing power the same way they've done Larry Hoover, the same way they're doing the current president. Even if it's leaving them down the path of destruction, people want to be close to power. And we're going to talk about Tiger King in this video right now. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Be sure to like my video, share it with your friends, follow me on Instagram anytime you want to discuss things I've said on my channel or you have things you want to say or you things you want me to do videos about. Hit me on the gram. I'll try to make those happen. I don't think we're done blowing shit up today. I don't think <laughs> you are. They have a heart and a soul and a mind. I've learned from them. But Carol Baskin hates saying, I can't have these tigers. If he ever had an enemy in his life, it was Carol Baskin. So Tiger King is a Netflix documentary done about Joe Exotic, who in the beginning, it feels as if it's a antagonist versus a protagonist with the protagonist being Carol, who was the animal rights activist, ladies and gentlemen. And in the first episode, they just set up the background somewhat of both individuals, and particularly more Joe Exotic. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as a black man, this story had me effing mad. I thought about coming up here and just giving y'all a cuss-filled tirade about all the things that white people can get away with in America that black people can't, and they all revolve around Joe Exotic. But you know what? I said I'm gonna stay calm, I'm gonna give a good review, and I'm not gonna interject those feelings even though I want to because this story is so crazy. When I say crazy, I'm talking about like it is nuts like a truckload of fruitcakes on Christmas. It is nuts, man. But Joe Exotic anyway, he is a gun-toting, right-wing loving, polygamous that is gay. Think about those contradictions I just said. Gun-toting, right-wing loving, religious zealot, polygamous, and he's gay, and he also likes little boys. The story doesn't just cover Joe Exotic and his rise to fame, his rise to getting lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. It also covers all the other dudes who was into collecting tigers and animals and setting up these fake ass zoos at their homes and all that. And here's the key to all of those guys, because those guys had pussy, tigers, it attracted them other pussy in the form of real women. And these real women love these dudes because they had money, power, and tigers. Again, like I said in the beginning of this video, power and corruption. And so they cover some of these other guys because it was a little bit of a circle of if I'm a, who's breeding tigers, I'm gonna go get them from them, I'm gonna go get them from you. But at the end of the day for me, all these stories kept tigers enslaved the way black people was during the 1700s. So I related and I was like, let these tigers go. And it put me at odds, ladies and gentlemen. It put me at odds because while I love animals, I've been on the fence about supporting zoos because I don't think we should be caging animals. I've also been on the fence about reserves. Well, I think that reserves are good if it's an animal that can't survive in the wild or it's an animal that's endangered. If you can give him the proper space to thrive, you know, I think you might should do that, but I don't think we need to be making money off that. Let the government pay for it. And I don't think I wanna see kids going around seeing it. If you wanna see animals, man, Maybe see them in your local home, in your local community, or see them on TV. I'm kind of, I'm kind of up in the air about that. But anyway, long story short, Carol was supposed to be the one representing the animal reserve. But as you get into her background, this chick was deep throat. She was conniving. She used her wits to get what she wanted from the guy that taught her about animals, which was his name was Don. She married this guy. And the long story short and speculated on that is she wound up having him killed because she realized 
he was getting ready to move to Costa Rica with another babe because he had a harem of girls too and was going to take his money because he was rich. And then he just comes up missing the day before he's about to go to Costa Rica and Carol act like she don't know what's going on. So the story winds up being Crazy Joe and what he's doing with animals versus Carol who's building up steam going to see politicians. She's getting Peter behind her. She's getting every bleeding heart liberal that hugs trees on her side to help her case about why they need to shut down Joe Exotic and the other characters they introduce you to in this story that was similar to Joe Exotic. Now, the reason you can't take your eyes off this train wreck is because Joe Exotic is so taboo. I mean, everything about him is taboo. It will make you think that certain people who believe certain religions or follow a certain political party wouldn't want to have anything to deal with him. But I think deep down on the inside, Joe Exotic stroked the inner parts of a lot of people and just the chaoticness of his character. He is a TV character. You can't stop watching this dude. Now, Carol, who is not trying to be a TV character, she is a TV character also. And ultimately, everybody involved in this documentary in terms of trying to be the person who had their little home zoos, their little cat reserves, they were all wrong. And the reason they was wrong is because they was exploiting animals that should be in the wild and they shouldn't have had nothing to do with the way they set up these power structures to in essence keep them in power, keep others at bay, and utilize these animals that should be in the wild for a profit. And which is why you can't stop watching it. Some of these people you wanna root for. In the beginning, I found myself trying to root for Carol until they got to the episode where it talked about what happened with her and her husband. Immediately, the way that went down, I was like, nah, you can't be rooting for Carol. Cool cats and kittens, it's Carol at Big Cat Rescue. Carol is the mother Teresa of cats. We will end the private possession of these cats. This is my way of living, and nobody's gonna tell me any otherwise. Carol has an army of people working for free. You know, there was a point in time you want to root for Joe. There was a point in time you wanted to root for the guy Doc in South Carolina. But then when you really just come back to what they're doing, ladies and gentlemen, someone tell me, how is this any different from slavery? Slavery was a cash crop. They put you out there to work. What are they doing with these tigers? Locking them up, putting them out there to be petted on, groomed on, basically working. Then they put them back in the cage. They'll groom them and keep them for about five years. Then they'll send them off or put them down because there's no more use for a huge tiger that's gonna cost you almost 2,000 and something dollars a month that you gotta feed, moving right along, you're making money, you're doing capitalism. Then they go through kind of the backstory of the laws involved, some of the crooked ass politicians that came through these same zoos, celebrities, Shaquille O'Neal had his big smiling bald head up there like, oh, I'm happy, and all that with Joe Exotic. So ladies and gentlemen, it just really shows you the complexity of hypocrisy in America. We say that we believe in these certain things and then the law interprets it a different way. Now, it all came to a head when supposedly Joe Exotic had something to do with hiring someone to kill Carol. They, the police never got Carol for killing her husband, but they did throw Joe Exotic in jail. And I have to go back and catch up on the very last episode because I've not gotten to the last episode. But so far what I can see is a pure shit show, a pure train wreck, and it just goes to highlight the hypocrisy in America when it comes to the law, when it comes to people and their beliefs, when it comes to if one person can elevate himself to pretend or act like he has a voice to something else and have power, people are gonna follow this clown and they're not gonna ask him a lot of questions. They're just gonna do what he wants them to do. And for all those things, I was completely heated and completely mad, but I will say this will entertain you and it can also be used as a teaching lesson if you have someone in there that has any of these predilections and you need to show them what damage this thing can do. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. Let me know if you have seen the Tiger King and his crazy ass and his crazy antics and all the people up there that was crazy. And what else are you guys watching while you're stuck on quarantine? And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.